short verse and uh, yet, yet great. Here we go, verse 8. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. Now, listen, I'm just curious. You get the three closest people in your life together and you say to them, okay, I want you to write down the top three characteristics that you see in my life. Be objective. Don't do this you know, just because you want me to feel good about myself. I want you to tell me the truth. Top three qualities or characteristics that you see in my life, write them down right now. Now, what would you say today that those three qualities are? If people were to objectively describe you, uh, what would that description look like? And, and here's, here's the question, would love be in the top three? Would love be in the top three? Would those closest to you, whether it's your husband or your wife or your kids, um, your coworkers, your friends, people that you know you interface with on a, on a daily basis, as they evaluate your life, because you know, our self-evaluation sometimes is just so subjective. Hey, we all wanna be loving, and uh, we all have our own idea of what that looks like, but, but what would others say? Other people that really know us, because it matters, it matters. For the Christian, this should sit as number one, the top quality or characteristic. I'm not saying that we're perfect in love. Um, we for sure are being perfected in love. We're gonna see that later on in this chapter. Um, but none of us are perfect. None of us have arrived. But that should be the key thing. You know, there's so many things that we strive for in this life. You know, we, we strive to be uh, intellectual or educated or sophisticated in a business sense. Or um, we, we strive to be faithful, which is a good thing. We, we strive to be nice and kind. And, um, and, you know, those. I'm not saying that those things are bad things. They're not. They're good things. But the key thing for us when we begin our day is... Help me, God, help me to love like you love because the, the greatest quality or attribute of God is that he is love. What a, a powerful phrase that is and one that profoundly impacted John's life. In fact, John described himself in his gospel account as the disciple that Jesus loved. Of all the qualities and characteristics of Christ, you know, that John was enamored with. For sure, grace was amazing and truth was amazing, but there was nothing like love. And so today, let's, let's ask the Father to work this within our lives and then let's take those steps, believing by faith that he's gonna answer that prayer, right? Because this is how it works. God, you know I struggle, I'm self-centered, I don't always treat people like I should, but today I wanna love. Today I want your love pouring through my life, to those around me, regardless of whether I think they deserve it or not. For Jesus, you even said that we should love our enemies. That's the prayer today. And then believe by faith that as you pray that, that God is going to empower you as you choose it. Those two things happen simultaneously. Don't just wait for the magic wand to wave. But as you walk in faith, believing that he's gonna answer the prayer, you're going to see him answer the prayer and do things that you would not be able to do. You're going to be in situations today where someone's going to de deserve from your perspective the opposite of love. And in that moment, God's going to give you a miracle and you're going to walk away. So will they, knowing that that had to have been God. Let him do that miracle in your life today and let others see God's love working through you. Father, we want that. We confess today that um, unfortunately, God, our, our days don't always reflect that, but I know I want that today. God, I want that today. And so help us, Father, to, to be available to you, to avail ourselves. And God, would you work that miracle of love through our lives in Jesus' name, amen. Have an awesome day. Have a loving day.